Hey guys, I'm holding the camera up this time so you're not looking up my nose. Uh, okay, we're going to the store today. I'm going to do another store run. Thought that you might uh, enjoy seeing something besides my apartment. And uh, I waited late in the day today, but I, I don't think they, they're, they're making places close early, but it's like, eight o'clock or something it's only six so we're, we're good on the store i gotta put you down <laughs> gotta get my little bag and put it in my little other bag i don't even carry the bag usually but since i'm gonna be holding the camera i didn't want to i didn't want to uh you know have 15 things in my hand all right Go. Okay, here we go. You guys are ready, excited. I'm supposed to have the uh, update today, aren't I? And I'm stalling on it. Well, that's because it's not, not great news. Turn this off. I'll leave the dehumidifier on because I'm only going for a few minutes. And no point in walking in the heat and then coming back to uh, the an apartment. All right, well, I guess I can stop stalling. I'm going to wait on the elevator anyway. Uh, so, we've got another two weeks of lockdown. That's not great. Uh, but they did say it's working. They said it's working. Uh, the lockdown is, you know, keeping everything under control. And uh, our numbers are insanely low here. We're regularly seeing Ho Chi Minh City getting, you know, I'm gonna say the last, last time it was 13,000 a day for the country and something like seven or 7,500, 7,000 or 7,500 of that was in Ho Chi Minh City. Although I told you that that little suburb is actually past Ho Chi Minh City now. So, but any, in any case, um, uh, our numbers of where they said, uh, Hanoi has had 2,400 cases, um, total. Boy, that's even more bald than I used to be. Anyway, sorry, I caught them for reflection. I usually try and avoid looking at it. This is a mirrored, em uh, elevator. And you can't help but see your bald spot. I thought I was doing head massages and it was going to halt the balding, <laughs> but it didn't. In fact, it's worse, worse now than it used to. Um, I mean, obviously that's <laughs> going to continue because it, uh, you don't get younger as time goes by. Anyway, um, yeah, that was it. Basically, there was like 2,400 cases. Oh, in the in this wave, I should say, in this since so since April, there's been like 2,400 cases in Hanoi, and we've been locked down. And then I know I probably said this the other night, but Ho Chi Minh City has just locked down. They've just gone into lockdown. Just like well, they announced it a couple of days ago when they were putting pictures on online and the news things. Um, and they were like, oh, they're preparing for lockdown, so it must be either today or Monday. Tight with us tomorrow. Um, I just don't, I don't understand how they could have it so much of the virus and not have locked down. Uh, they, whereas they got like just a little of it here and it was like, boom, locked down. But I gotta say, I'm going by. Uh, by last year, when we had the first lockdown, going by that, like we spent three weeks, and they were hard weeks, because we didn't know what was happening, I, hard for me anyway, because I was completely new here, and um, I really should put the little things in so I don't look a crazy person talking to the phone, to the phone. anyway. Um, 
I was totally new. I didn't know anything about anything. And um, just had to go straight into lockdown for three weeks. But when we got out, when we got out of lockdown last year, we had the entire rest of the year normal. I mean, most of the year we spent without masks. You know, because they, they, they got rid of it. Because the lockdown was, was long enough. So, obviously now it's a little different with the Delta variant. And, uh, I mean, considering how much of this stuff is in the South, and even denying, which is not too far. I mean, it's in the middle of the country. It's not in the South. But, uh, considering how much is around here, they, they are really going to have to control travel around the country, not just international travel to keep it from spreading to the north. But as long as they can, when we do get out of lockdown, it should be it. I mean, it's Delta variant is causing it to take longer. It certainly uh, spreads easier. You can tell that. But uh, when we get out of it, I, this the only reason I hate coming out after dark. I need to put on regular shoes, and I didn't because there's so many rats. Little rabbies everywhere you go. Anyway, let's let's give a nice look at the evening sun. Isn't it nice? What a lovely lake. It's hard for me to say that, you know, things are really all that bad. Obviously, they're not. People survived the Holocaust. I'm not going to complain about getting to just stay inside my apartment. I mean, honestly, if I, if I had a way to make money inside the apartment, I'd, <laughs> I'd be just fine with all this. I mean, except for the large numbers of people dying. But I, I looked around, I don't think, um, there are not daily deaths at this point in, uh, in Vietnam. There's been about 7,500 total. But uh, it's not like there's a, you know, daily death toll. Right now, anyway. Hopefully things are going to get better. Things are really leveled off, even in the south, even in Ho Chi Minh City. Is that sign? It'll be interesting to see after uh, after all this is over and things open back up, which businesses are still in business. Anyway, I guess you guys have seen this trip before. Uh, but I just think it's nice. So uh, we'll film it to the end of the, uh, it to the edge of the lake and then, then I'll let you go. So, oh, the, the date, I was going to give you the date. It's, uh, September 6th. September 6th is the, should have filmed the little dog. Uh, September 6th is the new, it's exactly two weeks from today. It's our new uh, check-in point. Uh, I won't say it's when the lockdown is over, but I was really hopeful that today it could be, could have been over. But really for me, it's, September is the, the, uh, the big, big date, I guess. So now it'll be a weekend of September at the earliest. Um, but at schools, I don't think if they had lifted the lockdown today, I don't think schools would have started back up like right today. Anyway, what really worries me is, uh, so let's say the lockdown lifts on September 6th. Uh, I don't, I mean, the schools, I don't think are going to be prepared to open the next day. Unless they have a heads up, 
which they might, I guess they might get, get that. Local governments would call them and say, hey, you're going to need to be ready to open tomorrow. Maybe. But who knows. And also, I mean, they don't really know until they look at the data in, uh, in two weeks if there's been no spread and they've been able to contact trace or they've been able to contact trace every one of the ones that they have then they'll they'll let the lockdown and if they can't they won't and that was why they said they started the harsh lockdown anyway because they had been doing the lockdown um, the light kind of light lockdown where you you couldn't go into restaurants, but you could still order, and uh, and you couldn't sit in a coffee shop, but you could get takeaway and stuff like that. They were doing that for a while. And I think they were okay with that until they started getting cases they couldn't trace, and they said, "Well, you know, we we can't figure out where it's coming from. Then we've got to just lock everything down until we can get it under some kind of control." So, another two weeks, that's our uh, uh, message, that's our uh, thing we've been waiting on, and waiting to find out. I guess there's some something good about just knowing, at least. So, now I can hunker down for another two weeks, I guess. And uh, I've seen things... In the U.S. are not particularly good right now. Things are, numbers are still increasing. So hopefully that'll change and hopefully you guys will get something going. I don't really know what to say because it seems like nobody's really concerned with it. And uh, I kind of feel like they should be. But we'll see. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow.